In today's tutorial, I will show you how to set up the HP system and different enemies can inflict different amount of damages such as this one, only one Pikachu, 2 HP and Trainer Selena, 15 HP Then I can also collect an apple to restore some amount of the HP and having this Pokepuff for full restore Okay, let's go! Let's take a look at the game before the HP system is added. You can see that now the amount of HP is still zero. Also, touching enemies does not decrease my HP. And collecting apples cannot increase my HP amount either. But we are going to fix all of this in today's tutorial. In the current program, you can see the game screen here and I have the head up display set up here. There is the port H which outputs the number of hearts and it is shown by this number object. But right now, I haven't sent anything to the port H yet. And moving to the right, we have different enemies here. The first is Slowbro, the second is Pikachu, the third one is Trainer Selena. And I have an apple which will recover some amount of HP and then this pocket puff for full recovery. Okay, let's go to the first step which is to add some HP to EV. In this step, we need a cutter to store the amount of HP. So we go to middle, frag cutter, random and counter. Then for this counter, we have to set the starting value to be the max HP. And in this case, it is 30. And the mode should be range from 0, which is the minimum amount, to 30, which is the max HP of the EV. Okay. And then we have to connect the output here to the H port. Because the H port connects to the number node on in the head up display. Okay, let's take a look at our game. So now you can see that we have the number 30, which means now EV has 30 hearts. Okay, let's go to the next step. In the next step, we are going to make sure that when we hit this slow ball, the HP will reduce by 1. Next, we are going to make sure that when the EV touches this slow ball, the HP will reduce by 1. So we need to detect if the EV has touched the slow bro. So we go to object sensors and then touch sensor. We resize it to be around the same size of the box. And then we connect this to the box. Then we go to the setting. We want to check if a person has touched it. And disable visible. And the output timing should be on touch because we want to reduce the HP only once. And when this output is 1, right, we have to count down this counter, which is the EV's HP. Okay, let's take a look if the slow bro is now able to attack EV. Oh, arch. Yeah. Now you can see that touching slow bro will reduce the HP by 1. But what if I want to reduce the HP more than 1? Let's go to the second step. In this step, we want to make sure that if the EV touches the Pikachu, the HP will be reduced by 2. So we have to copy the touch sensor and then connect this to the box. And then if we connect the output of the touch sensor to the counter, the HP will only be reduced by 1 but we want to reduce 2 so we need another helper. We go to middle and then convert trigger from 0. So this means that the value changes from 0 to other value, it will send out a signal. So yeah, let's set the output from the touch sensor to the input of this trigger. And then the output of this trigger to count down. So what will happen here is that when a person touch this box, when a person when the EV touches this box, the touch sensor will send the signal to reduce the counter by one and then at the same time it will trigger this nodon and this nodon will send another one signal to the counter 
there will be two countdowns and the HP will be reduced by two. Let's try it. Okay, so now we have 29 HP after touching Slowbro. And now we have 27 after touching Pikachu. The next goal is to reduce the HP by 15 when touching Selena. But we are not going to copy all the trigger nodons. Let's see how we are going to do it. To reduce the amount of HP by 10 when touching Selena, we can do the same as the Pikachu and then copy 10 trigger nodons. But we are not going to do that because it's too expensive. I will show you an alternative method. But firstly, let's copy the touch sensor and connect it to the box nodon. And then I'm going to add a flag here. This flag will be set to true when a person touches this box. Next, I'm going to need a timer. Then I connect the output of the flag into the timer. In the timer configuration, I do not want to delay the output. I want to send the signal to count down the counter. The idea is that I have to keep sending a signal to the countdown part until the value in the countdown is reduced by 15. But how long is that? The experiment I did show that if a signal at the countdown part is on for 1 second, we can reduce the value at the counter by 60. So in this case, we want to reduce the value by 15. Therefore, we have to continue output this for 0 0.25 seconds. Okay, let's close it. And when the timer has received the signal, it should turn off the flag as well. And don't forget to link this timer's output to countdown port. Okay, let's take a look if we can really reduce 15. Okay, now we have 27. And yeah, now the value is 12. It shows that we can reduce the amount of HP by 15. Yay! Now it's time to make some potion. Let's make this apple a potion that can recover 12 HP. So we have to detect if an apple is destroyed. And that's where we need input state change and object break. It should detect if an apple has been destroyed. So we go to check what. And then disable everything. Enable apple. So now when an apple is destroyed, a signal will be sent here. And then we repeat the same thing as what we did with Selena. So we copy the flag first. We enable it when an object is destroyed. Then we have to set the timer. For this timer, because we want to recover 12 HP, we have to recompute this. Like by computing 12 divided by 60, which is 0 0.2 seconds. And when the timer outputs 1, we have to turn off the flag. Then for this one, instead of connecting to the countdown, we want to increase the HP. So we connect this to count up. Okay, let's test the apple. Okay, so we... Okay, add the apple. After collecting it, yeah, my heart. It is recovered by 12 points. Yay! In the last step, I'm going to show you how to create a max potion. Again, I need this object to detect if alternate is destroyed. I copy this one, then change from apple to turnip. Then, when this is true, I will just reset the hard counter here. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, let's see if I can fully recover. Yeah, see, like 24 becomes 30, which is the max value. And if I hit Selena again, yeah, my HP is reduced by 15. And that's it for today's tutorial, guys. Don't forget to press like, share, and subscribe. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to do different kinds of HP bars. and 
Yeah, let me know in the comments which tutorials you want me to make. Bye bye.